Oh, let's actually turn the microphone on. Hey guys, so welcome back. I hope we're all doing very, very well. I have a real kind of old school sit down chatty makeup video for you today. I thought I would do my makeup this morning and I thought why not film it? All about getting that content guys. So um, I did actually update you on my everyday makeup back in Vlogmas. I did a kind of sit down, um, get ready with me in, in one of those vlogs and um, it was a bit rushed and um, I didn't really get to explain everything I'm using. And also uh, since then a couple of the bits have changed so I thought I would just sit down and do an official um, everyday makeup for winter 2020. This is very much a winter centric makeup routine because in winter my skin gets dry, it's like sandpaper. So I'm gonna talk to you about what I used beforehand to prep because we all know prep is the most important part of makeup. And um, this everyday makeup is kind of one where I have a little bit more time. Um, I have so many various different everyday makeups. Some of them are kind of like a one minute out the door makeup. Some of them are like, I've got five minutes, I don't really care. I'm just gonna throw what I can on. And some of them are more like this, right? I just kind of know what I want to use, but maybe a little bit more effort and thought goes into it. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm also gonna be using a few products from this very fancy little box. I got sent some um, of the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk range. We know Pillow Talk is just an absolute staple and now she's brought out even more products. I think there are eyes, lips, face, blush, cheek, everything you can think of. So I've kind of picked a few bits out of there. I'm gonna use them today. Okay, you are zoomed. Let me put this hair up. I just attacked my eyebrows pre this video, so <laughs> that's why they're looking a little bit uh, red and excited right now. I probably shouldn't have done that um, right before I started to film, but um, let's just get into it. So skincare first of all. So this morning I just washed my face with my normal um, pie oil cleanser, love that, very hydrating. And before I went on to my actual skincare products, I used this, which I think is an essential dry skin friend. We love this very much. Um, I love these kind of pad type products for exfoliation because they're so easy, they're so simple, they're not physical, which can be a bit too intense for every day, but they give a really nice kind of smooth skin feel um, and they help products sink in better, which is really important. So these are from Elemis, they're the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. This is my second tub of these and I actually really, really like them. I think they're mostly lactic acid based, which is one of my favorite acids to use. It just seems to suit my skin really well. It's very gentle, but at the same time, does what it needs to do. So those I used first. Um, and then skincare product wise, I went for one of my all time favorite skincare ingredients, uh, which is hyaluronic acid. So good for dry skin, so good for hydrating any skin type, even to the most oily. Um, and I used this one from The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary, it's such an affordable brand. Um, it's really ingredient driven. So you know you're getting something very um, high quality and sort of no frills, no fuss, but for a really great price. This is just their hyaluronic acid 2% with B5. It's such a pure, form of the stuff. Um, there's not really much else to it, but this is just a drink for your skin. Um, it doesn't leave any residue or tackiness. Um, it literally just soaks right in and, and feels so good. So that is a must for me as well. Again, it's one that helps everything else go on top really well. And then my, my finisher, my final product, and one, one that I think might be doing the most for me right now is from Glossier, the Future Dew um, oil serum hybrid. This is like no other product I've ever used. It's so good. Um, it is like an oil and a serum combined. It feels like a moisturizer when you pump it out, but it, it just dissolves into your skin. It's amazing. Um, and that is why it's looking shiny and fresh and glowy glowy instead of like cardboard and dry, which it was this morning when I woke up. Last of all, of course, lip balm as an essential. I'm actually going to put some more on because why not? Um, again, my favorite Lip balm, it's from Glossier, it's the mangobalm.com. I love it so. Okay, so that's my skincare layer done. Um, I did that about half an hour ago, had a coffee, and then came and sat down here, so it's had a chance to sink in a little bit, but it's still, it's still there, which is how I like it to feel before I go on with all my kind of base products. So obviously the theme of this makeup is gonna be glow, 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 doing everything I can to keep my skin looking fresh and dewy um, and not sad and dry for winter. So there's gonna be a lot of glowy, um, brightening products in this. And I'm actually gonna start with layer number one, a primer. I don't often prime, I usually skip this step because I'm lazy and it doesn't do that much for my skin. 
Um, but when I do use one, it is always usually these glow boosting types. So this is from Dior. It's the Glow Maximizer Light Boosting Primer. And it's very, very like sheeny, shimmery. Has a beautiful, beautiful glow to it. So that is what I am going to start off with. I'm not going to put a heap of it on because I feel like the Future Dew has already done quite a bit of this step for me. So just going to put that much on my skin and then buff it in. And can you see the gloss and the glow that gives? And the good thing about primers like this is that they don't usually have a lot to them. They don't have a lot of um, moisture or heaviness. So they give you that fresh hydrated look without being, you know, another layer that's going to clog down your face and make it look too, um, too greasy because that's the road that we don't want to go down to. There is a fine line between looking fresh and glowy and just looking like a greasy disco ball. Base product I think is where you can really make a difference. Personally for me, I like to go lighter on the base and then correct anything that needs to be corrected so my actual canvas isn't too heavy. Um, surprise, surprise, I am not using my Origins Pretty Fine Finisher. I know, shock. Um, I've actually come across a product that is incredibly similar um, and maybe slightly better for all skin types. This one isn't quite as thick and it leans more towards makeup than skincare. So if the Origins one to you was a bit too hydrating, this might be something very similar. Um, it's a new launch from NARS. It's called the Tinted Glow Booster. I have the shade Light here. And this, I'm gonna do the same as I did with the primer. Pump some onto my fingers there and just kind of pop it around my face. So it looks like I'm using quite a lot of product, but it's actually a very sheer, um, light coverage kind of feel. It's definitely not a foundation, it's um, somewhere in between like a foundation, primer, skincare sort of product, but it gives you just that little bit of coverage without the heaviness of even like a tinted moisturizer. I'd say it's one step down from um, a tinted moisturizing product. I like my skin to sort of still be there. I like to be able to see it um, and all its flaws. Those I'll go in and I'll cover up with concealer if I want to, but I kind of just like to use base products like this for an overall even base. Um, so they help everything else go on better and they just keep things quite uniform um, in terms of tone and texture without, you know, completely blanking out my skin. I'm not a massive full coverage girl. I'm not even a medium coverage kind of girl. I like it light and I like it fresh. I'd say the main difference between this product and the Origins one is that it has a little bit more staying power because it's not so skincare base, it, it does kind of stick around for a little bit longer, which is good. We like a bit of longevity. Feeling very radiant right now. Uh, that's actually a really good color match for me too. Uh, it looks quite pink in the bottle, but on my face it all works out. So we're gonna conceal next. I am still using my Glossier concealer. She needs a refill pretty much ASAP. Um, and this, I just don't change how I use this. It's always with a beauty sponge. and I tap it straight from the pot um, onto my face, onto where I need it. I always start with my eyes because that's where I need the most concentrated amount of coverage. And for a concealer that is marketed at being very kind of sheer and natural, she definitely gives some coverage. Look at that. It looks very bright and scary right now, but I promise you it will all even out. Um, it's shocking how much of a difference using a sponge with this really makes. It was a product that I was pretty much ready to just write off because it really wasn't doing anything for me. But as soon as I started using it with this, and it's a dry sponge as well, that's the most important part, it's not wet. Absolutely game changing. So I start under my eye like that. And then whatever is left, I will just take around my face, normally around my nose here, I get a lot of redness. So that goes onto there. And then if I have any blemishes, I have some interesting chin ones here. I don't know where they've come from. I will just tap. A little bit more on. By the way guys, I am so incredibly sore today. I'm struggling to sit down on this stool. I went to a bar class last night, um, egged on slightly by Carrie. Carrie of Wish Wish Wish, if you don't follow her, she is just fantastic. Her Instagram is a thing of beauty, it is art. So we ran into each other at my local it's not really a gym, the place where I normally go to spin classes, um, and then decided to go and do a bar. <sighs> if anybody's ever done bar, I <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of like a ballet-based workout, which, you know, I thought would be nice. We'll do some cute little plies and pirouettes. I don't know any other ballet terms. 
Um, and it would just be a nice, gentle workout. Was I wrong? Yes, I was wrong. It was so, so intense because a lot of it was actually spent kind of on, not on point, but on toes. My bum muscles and my thighs right now, they're just non-existent. I couldn't sit down yesterday. I had to sort of roll myself onto the sofa in a very um, elegant fashion. If you're looking for a good workout that really gets to muscles that you just haven't used since birth, um, I really couldn't recommend bar enough. I, I wanna go back, but I'm gonna have to wait a while because right now I can't do anything with my lower body. We're gonna do some bronzer now. Um, I'm actually not using my Clinique bronzer. How about that? This one's very similar. It's another cream product um, from Shantikai, Radiance Gel Bronzer. I like this one because it's quite sheer. So although it really seems that you're putting, you know, way too much on, it really blends out and shears nicely. So I just kind of do a few little dabs of that around places I want it, a little bit down the sides of my nose. I also put this on my eyes too, just to create a little bit of depth. I do this the same with powder bronzer. I think it's a really good easy step and if I'm not doing eyeshadow at all, there's already something there. And then let's go here and here and down my neck. We're really sticking to cream products. Um, cream products to me, obviously, it's a no-brainer when it comes to dry skin. They're just going to work so much better. They're not going to really pull any of the moisture out of your skin throughout the day, which is what I find happens a lot of the time with powder products. Really hard to talk while you're <laughs> trying to blend something into your neck. I really don't think you can be too heavy-handed with this because it literally just blends straight out. It's really really nice. It has a very nice price tag on it as well. Shantikai products are not the uh, the most budget friendly for sure, but everything that I have ever used from them has been worth it. They do have some of my all time favorites like the Just Skin um, and their blushes as well. Their cream blushes are beautiful. I actually don't know where my cream blusher is, but I would have used that had I remembered. And I really think when it comes to giving your skin warmth and um, you know adding some color and some glow, you can't get more of a natural looking finish than with a cream product. It, it makes a lot of difference. I'm not the best at using powder bronzer. I feel like there's a learning curve that I need to get myself onto. But cream products, they're just very like foolproof, effortless, seamless. You can't really go too wrong with them and you don't have to think about it. So that is my type of product wrapped up into one. We're gonna do the same thing for blush as well. This, this whole part of my base routine and face routine is generally the same, but with the products switched out, I use the same formula, no matter how I'm, I'm doing my makeup. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Nude Sticks All Over Face Blush color. This is in Salty Siren. It's the Nude Sticks and Estee La Lund collab, which I love. I'm really repping Estee today. I've got her necklace on from Daisy as well. Wow, super fangirl much, yes. Um, this I think is great because you can really go in with this and again it just shears out beautifully Gives such a nice pop of color. The color is beautiful. It's like a pinky coral Really really pretty. Um, a lot of the time in winter people will kind of go Along the lines of like the berry tones, which I think is a gorgeous look for me. I've never found Something that really suits me in that color family. I definitely prefer to go for these like brighter corals and pinks, just something that gives my skin um, some life and some color. And I think these ones, or well, these types of shades definitely do that. Just had to do a quick battery change there, but we are back. Um, have I been talking for that long really? So we've done cream bronzer, we've done cream blush, and of course we're gonna do cream highlighter. This is where my first product from the Pillow Talk range comes in. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light ones are gorgeous cream highlighters in their own right. Um, but this one is in the shade Pillow Talk, which is new. I'm very excited. These applicators are really nice too. You basically just squeeze uh, squeeze the product up into these little foamy pads and then just apply where you need it. I find them much easier to place precisely and easier then to blend in as well. This one is a really nice pinky tone. Um, it's really very much kind of my skin color, but better. So it actually blends in so nicely. I am looking glowy. This might be a bit too much for some of you, but don't worry, we're gonna do some a selective powdering. Now powder normally would strike fear into the hearts of any dry skin person. For me, uh, yes, I used to be there, but this powder is, is literally a, a game changer. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It is lighter than air. It's so finely milled, it's like silk. And I'm just gonna pop this in the areas that, you know, could do with a little bit of a 
de-discoifying. <laughs> I'm mainly gonna use this under my eyes because for me, um, this concealer, as much as I love it and as hydrating as it is, sometimes can make my mascara run. But as soon as I powder it, that is not the case. And having a really hydrating product underneath powder is usually kind of a recipe for disaster. Not these two, they go together so well. I'm gonna do just the apple of my chin there, <laughs> just the uh, round part. And then I also do around my nose and down my smile lines just to stop anything from creasing there. So we haven't lost any of that glow. We've just reined it in a little bit. So I am gonna go ahead and do my brows now. I'm actually out of my favorite brow product from Benefit. I need to order some new ones. I'm using this Maybelline um, replacement right now, which is, is pretty good, it's very similar. It's called the Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I'm also gonna use a little bit of my Dior, um, Dior Show Brow Ink as well. So speaking of fitness classes, I feel like I have become the absolute January um, stereotype of the person that goes to the gym. I've talked quite a bit about going to spin classes, which I really, really enjoy. They're actually one of the things um, that I found in 2019 that I never would have expected myself to, to even do, but I loved them and I, I really like the feeling of going. They're great um, for getting like your blood pumping, your heart beating. <laughs> Who would have thought I would become a cardio enthusiast, not me. Um, so yeah, I've been that person that is doing a couple of classes a week. I have to say I've noticed as well that everybody else um, in this place has as well because they are so much busier now than they were last year. Everybody is on it. Um, I don't blame you, well done for having the motivation to do that in January. I never like to do resolutions, but there were kind of a few goals that I have set myself this month. Um, I've actually found a really great app, which was on recommendation of Kate, Kate Levy, um, and it's called Habit. I'll show you what mine looks like. It's actually a really simple way to keep track of things that you want to become a habit. So I've just put in random ones like work out, read, um, wear my Fitbit, get eight hours of sleep, do 10,000 steps, and you kind of go through every day and you can tick it off. So I can tick off this one, da -da, and it kind of shows you how good you are. That is one of my better habits. Um, reading, not so much. So it's a really great uh, little thing to kind of just keep track of things because although I was very used to thinking I was on top of what I was doing and health when I was doing it, um, actually writing it down really goes to show that I had no idea. So um, I'm very much into that and keeping track of the things I'm doing. So um, yeah, one of the things on there is to do some sort of exercise every day, nothing intense, not kind of like a daily 10K. That would be um, absolute madness in my opinion, but just something that kind of gets my body moving. So whether that's going for like a really long walk, doing a spin class, doing some yoga, um, which are all things that I enjoy. Do something for my body, do something for my mind as well, because we all know exercise is the best thing for clearing out your head. And I think actually seeing it there written down um, and tracking it has made such a difference already. If I know that I'm kind of not gonna reach my steps for the day, um, I will go ahead and go for a walk or jump on the treadmill. So that's a way I've been kind of setting myself some easy to achieve goals. Um, I definitely indulged over Christmas and had a great time doing it. Mince pies were my life for a month and a half, but I, I feel like I'm maybe not as in tune with my body as I would like to be right now. So getting a bit of a sweat on every day is something that I'm enjoying and I'm feeling like my fitness is coming back. I've been going for runs again as well. I've been getting back into Couch to 5K. And I'll say this again, but honestly, the change in your mental state when you exercise, even just for half an hour a day, is incredible. So now she's got some brows. I've got a little bit heavier on the brows because I, I'm thinking I'm doing a bit more on eyes today. Um, I'm just gonna set those with some brow gel. The Anastasia brow gel. I have never had to buy another one of these. It keeps going. I probably should, just for the sake of um, hygiene, purchase myself a new one, but for now, she's, she's still going strong. Can't say I've really been an eyeshadow girl of late. I don't think I um, even had a favorite eyeshadow to pick in my um, roundup of 2019 Best of Beauty, but I do want to use this today. This, I think, is gonna be the star or the standout from the Pillow Talk range. So she's come out with a new palette and this is everything to me. <laughs> this is everything that I love 
in an eyeshadow palette. I, I could have picked these colors myself. It's just filled with these amazing neutral colors, um, some taupes and browns with a lot of warmth to them. I always go for warm eyeshadows, so that is perfect. There's a few shimmers, but there's mostly mattes in here, I'd say, um, and I love a matte. I think just for every day, a matte eyeshadow is perfect, um, but there's also some shimmers and some metallics in here to just perk them up a little bit, so I, I really wanna use this. Um, they have separated them into four categories, which is day, desk, date, and dream. Dream is probably the one I would struggle with the most because I'm not a massive fan of like bright pink eyeshadow, but I'm sure there is a way to make that work. So I feel like I'm spoiled for choice now. I think I'm gonna mainly use these two middle groups here. I'm gonna go ahead with the matte um, lighter color and just lay that over as a base. And I actually wanna build up with this darker one at the end. One thing I notice I do a lot with winter makeup is I kind of go a little bit heavier on colors, so I, I love like my rich chocolatey browns. I'm actually gonna zoom you in first so you can see what I am doing. Um, so I'm just building up a lighter base with this color here. And my rule with eyeshadow, no matter what I'm using, whether it's something as fancy as this palette, is I, I don't think too much about it. I'm not super precise. I'm not sitting there blending for hours. I just like things to look a little bit more natural, a bit more kind of easily applied. I think having that kind of approach to it keeps things looking a bit more fresh and a bit more modern. So that is my warm base. I usually do this with bronzer. Normally I just stick a brush into my um, powder bronzer that I have here and, and just use that as eyeshadow and that's my day to day. So I always like to kind of build up that warm base. I think that really helps at waking up my skin. But what I'm gonna do now is go into this kind of mid brown color and build that up here. Ooh. That is pigmented. So you can probably see I have quite a hooded eye. I'm gonna keep it mainly just on that lid and I don't wanna blend it too far up into the crease. I just wanna kind of stop it there. I'm kind of going for like a rounded shape with the darker color. So I'm just sort of switching between two brushes to kind of map that out and then to blend it. And then what I'm gonna do is take an even smaller brush and use the darkest, darkest brown. And that, I am just gonna really focus on my lash line. These are such pretty colors. They've almost got like a plum undertone to it. I, I'm not sure if it's just how it's going onto my skin, but they've got like a hint of a purple, which I really like. I almost wish that these three colors here came in their own separate little Millie palette because they are stunning. Um, that is all I've used on my eyes today. I've done a little bit of the middle one underneath, just to tie it all in um, without going too heavy handed. And I'm really happy with that. So let's curl lashes. I've had a bit of an upgrade in my lash colors this year. As much as I love and worship the Kevin Aquan ones, um, we have gone slightly more bougie for 2020. And I have myself now a pair of these Chanel lash colors, which are a stunning piece of craftsmanship. Um, I haven't used these yet, so we'll see if they're actually any good. They're actually a little bit more solid, um, probably because I'm only using them for the first time now, so they might need to be a bit warmed up, but there we go, they do the job. I am using my go-to mascara, the By Terry Twist Wand in the straight position, always. Um, I'm gonna do quite a bit of mascara, actually, because I have quite dark color on my eyes. This is always my favorite part because everything that you are worried about gets covered up, it all comes together. I put this mascara in my um, best of the year favorites for a reason. It is just so good and I am constantly reminded of that every time I go to use it. Usually with mascaras, I'll use one for a few months at a time and I'll like it, I'll love it to begin with and then towards the end, I'm just kind of bored of it. This has never done that to me. I've always used this and just been wild by it every single time. Two more things to do uh, now that I have zoomed you out. First one, very important step, and that is using my Freck. We love a bit of Freck. Um, I'm just gonna use this quite sparingly along the bridge of my nose. I, I feel like my makeup isn't complete without this now, especially as the concealer I use around this kind of area the V underneath my eyes is quite full coverage in the way that I use it. I think adding these little tiny faux freckles makes such a difference um, and just kind of 
looks like your skin. So I always find that if you're using quite a heavy product or something full coverage, the best way to make it look natural is to do this step. It almost makes it look like um, you have no foundation on because it hasn't covered up your natural <laughs> freckles. So if I'm feeling like um, I'm wearing a bit too much of a full coverage or if I've gone too heavy handed, this just changes things completely for me. It's my favorite, favorite little makeup tip. I've also just always wanted freckles too. So this is me living my dreams. It would not be right to end this video without using the original Pillow Talk lipstick. So that is what we're gonna do today. I, um, I've i had this in my collection for a really long time. I remember when I came out, it was very exciting. And it's actually very similar to my normal go-to everyday product, which is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. The colors are similar, but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> because of all of it. Um, I'm not gonna use a lip liner. I do have the Pillow Talk lip liner, but I think I'm just gonna kind of blot it on. This is always my favorite way to use lipsticks because, you know, it just looks so much more like a natural lip stain this way. The one place I do use it more precisely is kind of around the outer corners of my lips because they're a bit wonky and uneven. So, using it to kind of line there really helps um, with my lip shape, which is not the worst, but she's not the best. Uh, let's just say that. Mm. These lipsticks are really creamy. They're um, a matte finish, but they are incredibly hydrating. So great if like me, you get very dry lips. So there we go. That is my everyday makeup for winter 2020. Um, that would normally take me around 15 minutes. So that would fall into my 15 minute makeup category. Any less than that. And I think I'd maybe skip a few steps um, on the eyes, maybe forget mascara. Um, a couple of the face products would be forgotten about. And the one minute version would just literally be brows and lips. Um, I might do that as a series. Let me know if you'd like to see maybe a series or just one video of my one minute, five minute, 15 minute um, makeup looks because that's something that I think about and do every day. So let me know down below in the comments if you wanna see that and if you prefer it split maybe or just in one big video. I'm really trying to keep my content a bit more diverse this year. So I wanna have more beauty than I have um, before in the past because that's where this whole channel started. But I also wanna do, you know, my style content, which I love and, you know, lifestyle, everyday vlogs, um, more DIYs and makeovers I have on coming up, which is really fun. So you'll see that maybe next month, hopefully a lot more videos to come this year. So um, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching and anything um, I've mentioned or talked about will be linked down below in the description too, in case I've rambled through that very quickly and you didn't catch what I said, which is normally the case. I'm actually gonna finish off with one last thing, which I've had sat here. It's um, a Jo Malone fragrance in vetiver and golden vanilla. It's amazing. Oh, I wanna spray this on my boyfriend to see if it is just as good on a man because it smells like it would be. It's so good. Okay, guys, that is it for me today. Uh, and I guess I will see you all soon. Bye.